far as I know, um, you know, there's an oil shortage or gas crisis in the 70s, and everybody started pumping out mopeds because they get 100 miles a gallon and it was easier to get around. They were, you know, marketed as a, you know, a cheap, uh, fuel-efficient way to get around. Mike sees something he likes very much. He decides to go after it, and he finds what he wants. Then gas prices dropped, and all of them got stuck in a garage forever. And that's where they still are now. So that's where we find them. So I found this listing on Craigslist, and it was like three Tomoses for, I think, like 300 bucks, not running or anything. So I rented a truck from U-Haul and I drove out to like the middle of nowhere, met up with this weird, weird dude. Had like dreadlocks, dreaded into his beard, and he drove a PT Cruiser that had all of like the 3M stick-on hood scoops and like, like, like plastic flames up the sides of it. And he drove me out into the middle of the woods and he opens up this van and there was like four mopeds in there. It was three Tomo Sprints and a Tomos Targa. The weirdest dude I ever met, but I took those three bikes. I ended up sitting in my basement and just building them. <laughs> What's a moped? Moped is a, uh, a pedal-driven cycle. It's like a small motorcycle, but it's it's uh, only got 49 cc's and pedals. They have pedals and it has a 49 cc engine in it. Basically just a bicycle with a motor on it. They're easy, uh, they're relatively cheap, and um, I have a lot of experience with bicycles. So that knowledge from bicycles basically was very easy to transfer over to you know the small you know, mopeds. It's just there's so much you can do. There's so many different directions you can take with it. It's, it's fun to see what parts work with different uh, additions to what you're doing, and like what little tweaks can make your bike go faster. So my first moped was a Moto became 50V, which is the worst moped to start with, but I really love them. I actually have three of them. Yeah, and then it broke within like the first two days I had it, and I was like, I want to learn how to fix it. And so I just Went on the internet, figured it out, ordered stuff online, and basically just taught myself how to do it. And it just started like this like crazy moped problem I have now. <laughs> as far as I know, in Philly, I mean, there, I know of other girls, you know, on the East Coast and you know all over. You know, but uh, I mean, I'm the only I'm the only woman that I know of who really, really is committed to like wrenching and building. And a lot of them don't want to be. This is a really, really male dominated scene. And it's really frustrating because I want more girls to be into it. It's so much fun. But uh, yeah, being a girl, it's hard in this scene. <laughs> Yes, I am in uh, the Rebel Rousers. Uh, it's a moped club in, out of uh, Richmond, Virginia. The shop is an offshoot of our club, Legion. Uh, Legion's just, it's m me and my two roommates. Um, Eric, the guy that owns the shop. Uh, Danny, Dane, Ferg, Cody, Matt. I think there's 12 of us, I think. <laughs> and we got a prospect. Now, in Philly, there was, I guess, three clubs. Um, this one, LGN, let me prospect for them, so I'm, I'm trying to earn my stripes here. A moped gang is uh, just a bunch of people who want to wrench together. They want to build together. And we just wanted to just hang out and just play with mopeds. The best part about being in a gang is when you're building, you're not building alone. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like a family. It's kind of like being in a family with a bunch of dummies. <laughs> moped gang. It's basically just a bunch of people that are into the same thing in mopeds, you know, building them, riding them, and then breaking them, and then building them again. Basically spending more time fixing them than actually riding them. 
But uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a good community. I, I like all the people I met through riding mopeds and having people to go ride with is always fun. Make it who you want it, it's you, you know? You'll never see the two same mopeds, you know, beside each other. You know, you're gaining knowledge about your bike, and it's just a great outlet to get out with other people that love to ride. It's still growing. There's still more history. We're making it right now.